Hello, folks, and welcome to another demonstration by LearnBridge.nyc. I'm Rob Barrington, and today we're going to focus on our 0 to 750 topic for the week, which is the negative double. If you haven't had a moment yet, take some time and read the notes prior to watching the video. It'll be a little more helpful. You'll understand some of the concepts a little bit better. But we're going to start out by bidding some hands using the negative double. And we're starting with our partner opening one diamond, our right-hand opponent bidding one spade, and we're faced with this hand. This is always what the negative double will look like. Our partner will have opened the bidding. Our right-hand opponent will make an overcall of a suit. Our double here will be the negative double. And it's essentially a response to partner's opening bid. That's the best way to think about this particular bid. If you think of a takeout double, which is a double when it's our first opportunity to bid as a partnership, that is more of an opening double. And it shows an opening hand, so it makes a lot of sense. Here, we're in the responder position. So our double is essentially a responding double. We are using the double to respond to our partner. And as such, our double here or bids that we make will all be responses. So they're going to follow the same parameters. And here, north is open one diamond, east is bid one spade, and we have a hand with five hearts. A lot of you would think, okay, let's bid two hearts. However, we need 10 or more points to bid at the two level as a responder. So we don't have enough. However, the negative double will cover us for this situation. When we double, we're simply saying we have a responding hand and we have at least four cards in the heart suit. So East is making a double of our two heart bid at the moment. We could bid three hearts here because we know we have at least nine trumps between, between our partnership. However, we could also pass and see what develops. And here West bids two spades. And at this point, we can bid three hearts. And this will essentially say, we weren't willing to bid three hearts the first time because we didn't feel like we had the values. But now, when the opponents are essentially forcing us to either pass or bid, we're going to bid because we have nine cards in the heart suit. So we'll bid three hearts, and that's where we'll end up playing this contract. This is almost the exact opposite of the situation we just saw. On the last hand, we had a five-card heart suit but we couldn't bid at the two level because we didn't have enough points. Here, we have more than enough points to bid at the two level. However, we only have four hearts. If we had a fifth heart here, we would easily make a two heart bid. However, with only four, we have to start with a double. And remember, the double is absolutely 100% forcing. So with a good hand like this, we will always have another opportunity to bid. So we start with our double to show at least four hearts. And we now have confirmed that we have a heart fit with our partner. So now we bid the game that we expected to be in at the beginning. We knew we had enough for game. Now we know we have a major suit fit. So we're going to place the contract at four hearts. Once again, this is always the way the negative double starts, right? Partner opens the bidding. Our right-hand opponent makes an overcall of a suit, and now it's our turn to bid. We have four cards in the heart suit, so we make our negative double. Partner has jumped in response to our bid. And think of this as a normal auction. So if we exclude the one spade bid, right? if we take this one spade bid out of the equation, this auction or the equivalent would be one club, one heart by us, and partner jumped to three hearts. It's essentially the same auction, right? We showed six or more points and partner has said, okay, I want to invite you to game, even though I know you may only have six, right? This usually shows about a good 16 to 18 total points. And that's exactly what the robot is thinking as well. So we have more than enough to bid game and we do so. What do we do with this hand? Well, if we read the notes carefully, this is special circumstance number one. 
Our partner has opened one club, and East has bid exactly one heart. In this situation, we have two ways to show the spade suit. We can bid one spade, which will be six plus points, or we can double, which would also be six plus points. So with two choices, we actually assign a different meaning to each one. The bid of one spade will show five or more spades and six or more points. The negative double will show four spades exactly. So with this hand, we have seven points, enough to respond, and we have exactly four spades, so we make our negative double. Our partner bids one no trump, which here denies a four card fit for the spade suit, and it also should show some stoppers in the opponent's bid suit, which is hearts. So, we're very happy to play one no trump in this situation. We have a minimum hand. We know we don't have a major suit fit, so we're just going to pass. Now we're presented with a very similar situation to the last hand, but not exactly the same. Here our partners open one club, and East has overcalled one diamond. The double here shows something specific. It would actually show both four card major suits. So when both minors are bid, we actually can bid our four card majors individually at this point. We still have the one level available. So when we bid one spade here, it's only four or more spades. The only time the one spade bid is five or more is specifically after one club, one heart as an overcall. Because in that situation, we have exactly two ways to show spades. Here we essentially have one way to show just spades, and that's by bidding the suit. Our partner raises to two spades, and we should be very happy to sell out there with a minimum. We pass. Now we've switched positions at the table. Here we're going to start as the opening bidder. So we are going to open our hand one diamond. Our left-hand opponent overcalls one heart, and our partner has bid one spade. What do you bid now? The correct bid for this hand is two spades. And the reason we can bid two spades confidently with these cards is because we should recognize that this is special circumstance one again. This is us opening the bidding, our left-hand opponent overcalling one heart, and our partner bidding one spade. Remember, partner has two ways to show spades. When they bid one spade, it shows five or more. So we can confidently raise the two spades because we know we have an eight-card spade fit. And partner did quite well for us here. Nice five-card spade suit. We're going to do quite well in our contract. Here we're opening the bidding once again, and we're going to start with one heart. Here is another special circumstance with the negative double. We have opened one heart. Our opponent has overcalled one spade right to our left, and our partner has doubled. When we have an unbid major, our double will always show the other major. However, when both majors have been bid, as they have in this case, the double actually shows both of the other suits. This should be at least four cards in each minor suit. So with a presumed fitted diamonds, we're going to bid two diamonds. Our partners now bid three clubs and we prefer diamonds clearly to clubs. And remember, we've already shown five hearts and partners had plenty of opportunities to support our suit. There's no reason to ever go back to that suit. So we bid three diamonds and that's where we leave it. Here our partner has bid a lot with uh, maybe a slightly marginal hand, but we're not in any danger. We're at an appropriate level to play a part score in the minor suit, which is really our best fit on this hand. What do we bid at this point in the auction with the south hand? Well, 
always think about what partner has shown you in these situations. Partner has made a negative double, which has forced our hand to about the two levels. So this should be a really good six or seven or more points. And they've shown four cards in the heart suit. So we absolutely have a fit with our partner. The question is, what's the appropriate level based upon what we have? And we have a terrific hand here. Opposite six points, we actually have enough to bid game right away. We have 18 high card points. We have two extra points for the singleton spade. And we have one heck of a nice five card diamond suit. All of these are terrific reasons to bid game directly and make sure that we get there. So with our fit in hearts, we bid four hearts. Excellent spot for us. And here comes another special circumstance. Here, our partner has opened one club and the east hand has overcalled one diamond. Just like when both majors have been bid, when both minors have been bid, our negative double will show both of the majors, right? Here we have two unbid majors, right? One club, one diamond, hearts and spades have not been bid, so our double will show four hearts and four spades. Great way to show both suits at once. If we only had one of the majors, like we saw in a hand previous, we would simply bid our major at the one level. So with four hearts and not four spades, we would have bid one heart. And with four spades and not four hearts, we would have bid one spade. With both, we get to make our double. And now our partner has shown a, a fit for hearts, most likely. East has bid two diamonds. And here, if we count all of our points, we have about 11. This is that magical raise for an invitational bid after a partner has opened the bidding. So we're going to jump to three hearts. And they're going to pass us there. Here our partners actually made quite a good decision. They've passed our invitational bid. I, I think it's primarily because of their wasted values in this diamond suit. Right? They have three points and three cards in the diamond suit. And East has bid diamonds twice. So I think the North Hand has done a great job assuming that these aren't very good for our side. So we've ended in three hearts. And that's about all we can make on this particular hand. Now the East player has made a jump over call. And the only thing we want you to remember in this situation is your values for the negative double are based on what level the opponent has bid to in front of you. The higher this bid, the more points you need to have to make your negative double. Uh, here we have a very good 11. In fact, this would be an opening hand every single day because of the three quick tricks that we have. So we have more than enough to bid, even if they had overcalled three hearts. We have at least an invitational hand at this point. So we're going to make our double, and just remember the higher their bid, right, the more points we need to have to make our call. Now partner has shown us support for spades, and we're going to make our invitational bid, and they are accepting. Looks like we've made it to a, another reasonable spot. This is the perfect hand for the negative double, because not only do we have our heart suit, we have a nice diamond suit as well. So we might be able to get that into the mix if we don't find a fit in our heart suit. When we have hands like this, again, we're very tempted to just go ahead and bid one of our suits at the two level. And while that might work out okay on a lot of hands, we don't want to trick partner into thinking our hand is actually better than it is. So we're going to make our negative double which shows at least four hearts and our partner jumps the game in our suit that's got to be pretty good for us and you can see we've made it to another very good contract now we're back to the opening bid and we are going to start with one diamond our partner doubles after west overcalls one heart this, guys, is special circumstance number one again. Partner has exactly four spades. If they had five or more, they would have bid one spade. Here we know we have a fit. We're close to actually jumping 
but I think we'll we'll show a little bit of restraint here and just bid one spade. And partner jumps to four spades. Good. Very nice contract again. All right, folks, that's all she wrote for negative doubles. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to practice your negative doubles and see this bid in action, join us for one of our focus duplicate games in Manhattan. They are every Thursday, mornings at Cavendish Bridge Club, 9.45 a.m., and Thursday evenings at Aces Bridge Club, 6.30 p.m. start time for that game. And for one more week, the entry fee at Aces will be only $10. So... Take advantage of that deal and come see the negative double in action with our Focus Duplicate games. Till next week, this is Rob Barrington signing off from LearnBridge.nyc.